Hello friends, welcome back to my channel beginner to expert. This is part 24 angular 7 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will explain about angular material component customization. So here actually I'm going to show how do we customize the angular material search or you can say multi select search. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so before going to uh, you know implementation of the multi select with search. So here actually I created one you know component and uh, here uh, what I'm going to show. So here you can check this multi select panel uh, already there in you know angular material as a multi select uh, you know element okay so here i added one search engine as per my requirement because here actually most of the times uh, you know when multi selection will be more okay so there i cannot scroll down and uh, i cannot find out uh, manually okay and i can select so to avoid the scenario i want that user can select by name whatever they want okay after finding the name they can select the multiple one okay so these features i am going to implement okay so uh, now i am just uh, summarizing whatever and um, what uh, the things we have done so far so in my uh, previous video i actually showed that uh, you know how to use the our uh, dialogue material dialogue inside the project okay so if you go to the browser here i created actually one button on click of the button that one pop-up will come okay inside that pop-up actually we are rendering the emp register component okay so today i'm going to uh, you know show you that uh, multi select with search okay so that uh, is a customization so here i'm just uh, showing you so here uh, in angular material so they have implemented the select one okay so if you go to you know here you can check the selection these, these are the single you know selection okay so here if you come down so here also you can check that multiple selection here okay so multiple selection they also created a uh, you know component for multiple selection so here we can uh, you know select multiple options as well okay but there is no search okay but uh, most of the times actually we want user can search name okay and select the multiple options okay so in order to achieve this oh, what we have to do first we have to inject the mat select okay to inject the mat select we have to register the mat select module so first i will go to mat module okay so here i will use that okay mat select module already uh, we implemented okay so okay so mat module is there now second uh, part you know second is the uh, you know button okay search button so in order to use that uh, button we have to go that button section okay so here api actually tells us that mat button module we have to import okay so here i will go mat module button module okay so then next thing is to add you know input okay so here what i will do for time being i you know designed that you know piece of code okay so what i will do here i'll copy and paste it okay so first one is you know that mat select part second also mat select so third one is here uh, mat select if you go to so mat select so multiple one here so multiple selection go to the view source here you can check mat select with multiple options 
so here mat option means each option it is looping through okay and value it is assigning here input and uh, autocomplete op means whatever we are uh, searching that will not be visible there so mat input placeholder i kept okay so mat select and mat option so here user list we are uh, you know binding it uh, to the options and here user id and user name okay but <clears throat> so in order to that uh, include the search uh, you know text box that for that one i uh, you know kept one you know input box and uh, here uh, i added one reference for this you know input and i attach one event that is input event so i named this you know on input change okay so whatever uh, what i need to do and here i kept one you know button okay that is search button okay and uh, whatever we have been added that button i'm keeping that button as well and uh, i placing that button in the right side now go to that view okay so uh, as expected that view uh, design uh, you know came and here nothing is visible because we are not binded to that you know user list so here what i will do for multi select search i want want a reference to be there so to get the reference of the input uh, we have to you know decorate that uh, reference with the view child okay so this is my view child and view child name and this is the ally's name and this is type of element reference okay so whenever user uh, you know search anything and the input so that value will come in this uh, you know with the help of this element reference okay and uh, here what i'll do i'll copy this on input change and i will console it whether we are getting that input value or not this dot is dot native element dot sorry value okay now save it okay so something we need to add okay so in order to open the search box we need to at least uh, have one user okay to in order to add i kept one user list uh, which will be you know array type of any for the time being and uh, this dot okay so for timing i already uh, written to fetch the you know input list here one private method so i'll copy and paste it over here so basically actually this method actually returning a list of you know user and this is type of observable here of operator we are using from the rxjs okay so here rxjs operator which will responsible to return an observable so here i will register that inside ng on in it this dot this dot as it is uh, as it returns an observable so we can subscribe it to get the response I will assign that response to user list okay and uh, also okay I'm coming to that uh, another point so here user list we are getting okay now save the page open the browser so here you can check that search by name that 
input text box is coming now here all the uh, user list is coming we can select multiple one but if we search then nothing is searching actually so i implement that search in this area in order to implement that search uh, we need to check in the you know console whether uh, you know get we are getting that input value or not so if i search something so here latest uh, input you know is coming that means that value is coming okay now what i will do i will convert whatever value is coming from the text box into a lower case okay so here constant search input if the value is present then only we can convert it to the lower case otherwise it will throw an error okay to lower case so this is basically a you know method of a string okay so this is search input Okay. and uh, now my next intention is you know loop through of the list and find out the search input okay so in order to use that this dot you know user list so this dot user list dot filter so filter method is there because this user list is an you know array so that array will have a filter method which help us to filter multiple one so here user what i will do so here constant name which will be a type you know string okay and here user is an object so user will have one property called name as you can check here i <coughs> kept a user object will have two name uh, property name and id okay okay name now that name i will convert to lower case okay so lower case it is converted now what i will do i will return the string if it is found then name dot you know index of method over there on you know input or you can say string so here what i am going to search user search input okay if greater than minus one okay that means if it is found then it will you know return the index of that position character position and it will assign to the user list okay now save the page open the browser okay now search bis share here you can check BISW actually contains two name okay now if I remove see nothing is coming okay so that means whatever we have searched that search actually that uh, search actually already overwritten with my existing user list okay here with my exist that user list actually this is basically you know we are creating a one copy of the user list okay here as well i will search so each time it will search from that you know copy uh, original user list and whatever found uh, according to the input so it will assign to the user list and user list is the public and which is binded to the you know view okay so now open search now if i remove again whole uh, list is coming okay now suppose i searched viswajit okay 
that means two name I found okay so now two name actually selected so this way we can customize you know material that multi select uh, component okay so uh, that's all uh, for the day so still uh, try it by yourself and still if you have any queries please don't forget to leave a message in the comment section below thanks for listening have a great day